O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. You have the power to create. This is a dynamite card, man. Your power is so strong that whatever you believe comes true. You are that way. You are that way because that is what you believe about yourself. Your whole reality, everything you believe is your creation. We're more powerful than we think, folks, okay? Check it out, man. Grab it and run with it. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 310, NASDAQ off 197, SP's down 58, gold, gold contract up $8.30, trade to 2008 an ounce. You get silver down 25 cents, 25 dollars 27 cents an ounce, light sweet crude off a buck fifty-six. Seventy-seven dollars twenty cents a barrel, notes and bonds. Ten year note, up twenty-nine ticks, trading one fifteen twenty-five, the thirty year up a full point. Plus 18 ticks at 132.10 and King Dollar. King Dollar, where are you? King Dollar up 490 ticks, trading 101.839. The Euro is at 109. The Yen is at 133. And the British Pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, bottom line is that you saw that contraction of volume yesterday. You couldn't hold price. Bottom line, here we go. You know, you're at 58 million shares right now. You're coming into, well, you, we're coming into the 113 million. That's where we had some strength. Now, the top of that strength was 409. The bottom was 404. So we're already digged. We already have dug into that bar. So 404 is game. That's the first part. The bigger part, however, is that what you're going to have here, it couldn't make it up to the highs, the swing high that I had been talking about for a while, that 410. We made it up to the, oh, the 414. Oh, it was 418. We made it to 415. Now what's game is that swing low, because you have a high volume swing low. And that's out of 380, and we're at 406. NDX 100. Same type of setup inside the NDX. You don't have any buyers at the highs. You have sellers as soon as you get up there. Push them away. So we're 38 million right now. Yeah, basically, let's see. Yeah, we're breaking the swing with volume already. Wait, because the swing has 46 million. We'll do 46 million easy. We're going to do, uh, we'll do about 58 million. It'll do about 20 million coming into the close out here. Now, and the queues, this is, this is what you really want to wrap your head around. What just happened in the queues, the queues are down five bucks. We're at 310. The queues just went back in its lower trading range. So this is a huge failure on price. When, when you get out of a trading range, folks, right? And in this particular case, we actually stayed out of that trading range for almost a month. And you get back inside it, get out of the way, man. Because there's a lot of people that own up at this level. Bottom line, you still have a, also you have a, another high volume low that's laying out here at 285. So 285 is game inside the queues. Gold. Now gold is impressive out here today. This is really cool what's happening with gold. And what we have is this. You have do dollar coming off the lows, okay? You have gold that didn't even get to the low of yesterday and has 207,000 contracts. That's good contract volume, man. That's, that's, that's what you're looking for. So, and it didn't get in the lower range. The lower range in gold is 1992. You know, we got down there five days ago. We got to 1990. Two days ago, we got to the 1992. Bottom line, today we got to 1986. Rejected it, but you're pushing higher now with volume. So, this is going to be quite a battle out here, man. And my take on the gold market, this is what it's about. It's about interest rate structure. What we have with interest rate structure right now is that higher price, lower yield. You can see this right here. We get 1.5 million contracts inside the 10-year. 
So more than likely what we have is that it's going to make a run to the top of this range. Now the really cool thing here, and this is where it gets really decadent, is that you very well could have a beautiful ABC structure up. We did just over a 0.382 retracement on the way down. And if we have that, let's do this quick. Okay, that's going to be 117 is the high. That's good. Okay, so we got seven and a half points, which we get you 120.30. Let me do this on a 120.30. Well, you know what 120.30 is going to do, folks, which will blow some minds. 120.30, if that's what we get, would put the 10 year under 3% again, or at 3%. TYA. No, TY. TY1. I need that generic contract. Here we go. Okay. We pull this baby up. Come on. TY generic 10 year note. There we go. I got it. Okay. Now, bring this up. 120. 120. Let's go look for 120 here. See how this shakes out. Okay, so I'm putting this. Okay, interesting. So what is this range here? I see that's 117. Well, this is what ends up happening. If we get back inside 117.13, you're in the high range again. I mean, it's going to take quite a bit. Uh, but this is saying that, you know, bottom line, the rate structure uh, is out there, meaning, you know, that the, the next Fed meeting is May 3rd, and, you know, we'll see whether they go up a quarter point. My take is that they're not going to do it, you know, that we've, we've peaked out in rates. Some of the higher volume equities, and we, we get some destruction out here today, there's no doubt. You got uh, Fresh Republic is getting smoked. That's down, it was a $15 stock this morning, it's a $7 stock right now. This should be out of business. I suspect with Fresh Republic, folks, you had the three big, big banks put $10 billion in a piece, of, yeah, $10 billion bucks a piece. You know, they're, they're just holding that up. And after today, we're going to find something out because guess what? That's, that's not going to, that's not going to stay in business. You know, you get smoked like that in one day. The numbers are out. They don't have the numbers. They have a huge amount of bad debt. You know, we'll see where it shakes out. They've been trying to, you know, hold it together as long as they can. Stay right there, folks. Good our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next. We have the Dow Industrials down 296. Nasdaq's off 200. S&P's off 57. We're coming right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant 